Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Samantha Moore, one of your 11 Alive Storm Trackers, and it is time for Storm Tracker School. And we just want all of our storm trackers to be aware of the different levels of risk when it comes to thunderstorms. So we're gonna start off looking at what the Storm Prediction Center ranks in terms of severity. So they have five basic levels of what they consider convective severe risk when it comes to thunderstorms. First off, thunderstorms in general, the ones that aren't ranked, they can always produce some uh, rough weather, the lightning, the flooding, that exists with all thunderstorms, that potential, because you can get heavy downpours and you can get a lot of energy, which causes lightning. So the first ranked level is marginal. That's level one out of five. Isolated severe thunderstorms possible, more limited in their duration or, or coverage and intensity. So they don't tend to be widespread and they're not particularly organized, but you can still get a spin up tornado even when we have a level one risk. Moving up to lemon, level two, Two, scattered severe thunderstorms are possible. That's in that lemon yellow color. Short-lived, not widespread, isolated, intense storms still possible though. Even though it's not as organized, it is gonna be a little more widespread than marginal. Uh, level three is enhanced. That's the orange color on the map. Numerous severe storms are possible. Numerous, that means a lot. More persistent and or widespread. A few of those could be intense. We could see some extreme thunderstorm winds. Uh, generally, uh, severe thunderstorm winds are 58 miles per hour or higher, but we could even have higher winds than that when we get these enhanced, when we have an enhanced risk and we have severe thunderstorms. Level four is moderate. Moderate doesn't sound all that threatening, does it? I really don't like the, the name of that. It should be something that is more extreme. Maybe extreme. How about extreme uh, after enhanced? Um, widespread severe storms likely, long-lived widespread and intense. So that would be like a derecho event, uh, a, a wind event that knocks down a bunch of trees, widespread, many people affected, a large geographic area impacted. So number four, even though it doesn't sound intimidating, moderate, it's serious. But even more serious is level five. That is a high risk. We rarely have a high risk here in Georgia. If we have a high risk, it is time to batten down the hatches because that means widespread severe storms, extensive damage, long lived, widespread, particularly intense and dangerous situations. That's when we would have a high risk. So this kind of breaks down your five levels. Here's an example of uh, a day on April 7th in 2020, looking at that general risk for thunderstorms no big whoop here right but as we get into the 8th april 8th the convective outlook for april 8th showing a large area here that has that little better organized little better coverage across much of the tennessee valley towards uh, st louis over into arkansas into little rock here in georgia on this date uh that green you see on the map, that's marginal risk. So that means isolated in nature, can't rule out a spin out tornado or some hail, gusty damaging winds or some flooding rain. But in general, not well organized severe storms. Still could see an, a, a severe storm, could still see a tornado, but just not organized, kind of just sporadically popping up here and there. A little better chance here in Northwest Georgia on that date, that slight chance just means a little more organized, a little more coverage, a little more together, and a little more threatening. So it's in level one is the lowest risk, level five is the highest risk. And I think that's the easiest way to remember this, a kind of a green light situation on this end and then seeing red on the, on the higher end of things is when we really need to have uh, be extremely on top of what's developing and get ready to take shelter at any minute um, when we're in these very volatile situations where we can see severe weather develop very quickly. So that's a look at your levels of convection. We'll see you back here for Storm Tracker School on our next episode where we'll be talking about hail and how hail is formed. See you then.